morning, everyone. This is Becky here at Aunt Bex Creations. And it's another rainy morning, and I'm waiting on the kettle to get hot. And I thought we might revisit this um, flow journal that we did a swap with, oh, several years ago. And I think this one came from Linda T., who I haven't seen in a while. So, Universe, is Linda T. still around? So that's my plan. I'm just going to flip through this and see if we can um, just revisit what Linda included in her flow. And I will say, and I'm pretty sure this was Linda T. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but it has been a while and I could not find a signature anywhere. And look how chunky it is. And I've never really gone through this in depth. She's got paper clip that's got a paper clip in it and beads on one of those little these are actually called laundry pins or textile pins but people call them light bulb pins but then she's safety pinned a piece of rickrack on there oh it was from 2018 see i'm finding things just by looking this up october 2018 is when we did this swap and there's a little skull bead and a glass bead and a little cross, I think. And then there's some more. All through this, you can see she's got little paper clips done up. So let's just take a look through. Hi, Heather. Hi, Kathy. And of course, I've got to turn the autofocus off or it's going to go in and out, in and out. Oh. Bear with me. And I'm going to leave it out because this journal is so big and I want to make sure you can see it all. All right. So that should quit the whole in and out business. So let's, let's see. She's got one of her paper clips here. And I think this is a card and we'll find out if I'm right. I was Linda T. Thank you so much for hosting this swap and all the cool lives you do. I hope you like your mini flow journal. I sent a few extras. I really don't do many swaps, so I thought I'd do it up good. See you on the net. So Linda T. And this is dated May 2nd, 2019. So it was done either 2018 or 2019. And that's her card. And let's just pull out. And we'll just pull things out and look and see what's here. This is a grungy piece of paper. And Christmas Everywhere. This looks like a really old poem bit book. In Flanders Field, Moonlight. Oh, Capitan, my captain. These are cool. Oh, this is from a TV guide because Andy Griffith was going to be on. And Hennessy, which is a comedy, Andy Griffith, Surfside 6. I don't remember these shows, so this must be really old. Um, the 87th Precinct, Danny Thomas. I remember Danny Thomas. And I remember Rifleman because of, re I guess, replays. Uh, window on Main Street and The Price is Right. Aren't they fun? Lee the Virginian by Robert E. Lee. They did a documentary story on it. Pete and Gladys. This is fun, just looking at the old shows. This is from a... Um, oh, what is it where they tell you when to plant stuff? Why is my brain shutting out? Farmers... Almanac. Hi, Angie. Gives you the moon phases. When to cut your fingernails. Oh, you want to hear when to cut your fingernails? It says, cut them on Monday. Cut them for wealth. Cut them on Tuesday. Cut them for health. Cut them on Wednesday. Cut them for news. Cut them on Thursday. A new pair of shoes. 
cut them on Friday, cut them for woe, cut them on Saturday, a journey to go, cut them on Sunday, cut them for evil, all the next week to be ruled by the devil. So don't cut your nails on Sunday or you'll be in deep poo-poo for the next week. Tip on whipping cream. Add a touch of peanut butter to cream that is difficult to whip. It will help the whipping and add a new flip to the flavor. Okay. A quote from Grandma Moses. I look back on my life like a good day's work. It was done and I feel satisfied with it. I was happy and contented. I knew nothing better and made the best of what life offered. And life is what we make it. Always has been, always will be. How about that? Here's an old calendar. I don't remember what this is for. The, uh, what was that movie where the spaceships came? I don't remember. <laughs> A bit of wallpaper, I think, or wrapping paper. Love the clowns. So I could go through and pull things out and by theme and do something with this. Here's another Farmer's Almanac page. Let's see. What's the good on here to read? Uh-oh, it's falling apart. Okay. Um, next year's Easter lilies. How for a small garden, which some of it's missing. Um, man versus wasps and hornets. Wasps and hornets often build their nest on the house, and you can expect painful stings if you're careless about disturbing them. You can eliminate a nest of wasps or hornets in a few hours by blowing chloridane dust into the opening of the nest. Yeah, I want to get that close. Chloridane dust. I don't even know what chloridane dust is. Synergized pyrethrium is the same way. is quickly effective and there is less danger of stings. These sound like carcinogens. This chemical subdues the insects. Late evening is the best time to use an insecticide on wasps and hornets' nests. Most of the insects are in the nest at this time. Okay. Coca-Cola calendar. And this is a bit of another calendar. we got to save all the little bits, right? Because Linda sent them to me. Coca-Cola. Oh, a little post-it pad. I might leave that here on my desk for when I need to leave notes. Pretty pink paint sample. Let's see. what It's a bridal bouquet pink. And then there's some cool metallic. She looks like she cut some butterflies out of, or maybe I did. I don't know. Painty paper. I bet this was done with uh, shaving cream. Yep. Just leave them alone. <laughs> That's my method. Another painty paper. And there's her envelope that her card was in. So we'll put those back in the first flap here. Those were all in here. Then this page here is a bit of paper that's been folded up to make a pocket. And we have a couple clips. That one's a moon face and that one's a clown face with a little, she bent the edge here to create a loop to hang a charm on, yin and yang. That is cool. I like that idea of bending it around. And then let's see what's in here. We've got, oh, that's a pretty Christmas card. That's beautiful. You don't see them like that anymore. That looks like it's from the 1970s, doesn't it? When we wore maxi dresses. Do y'all remember maxi dresses? And this... Looks like it's been full, a uh, part of a paper bag, but it's got all these ladies on it. I could use that in my sewing journal. And then 
another blank card. So she included blank cards and paper clips. So if you're looking for ideas to make your own flow journals, Linda's put a lot of them in here. Here we go. Then let's see. We've got another paper that's been folded up. She's got a paper clip on the side, just a regular paper clip with no fibers or anything. And then in here, look at that paper. That's cool. Looks like a spirograph. In here, she's got television service call papers. Do you remember when the television repairman would come to the house? And little file folder icons. All you need is love stamped out. I, I have that stamp. A library pocket. And then just some odds and ends. Little bits. We'll stick those back in that pocket. Sorry, I'm moving this back and forth. But I want you to see as we turn. Nothing there. Then we've got some bingo cards here. And she's got this card. This is a card. Let's see, wait a second. Let me see. The paper clip is holding it in. There we go. So that's bingo paper put in there. And it looks like she made a pocket with each of the papers, which is a cool idea because then that gives you somewhere to stick things. And that card is really pretty. It's a payroll record. An empty envelope. And some seals. You know, we all get those seals for free. I got some address labels from um, disabled veterans yesterday in the mail. I'll put this back in here. So I need to go through and think up some themes and maybe utilize all this wonderful stuff that Linda sent to me that I've had since 2019. All right, next page is this blue and she's got paper clip at the top with all this cool stuff hanging. And then another one down here. And she's done the whole bend that little thing on this side. And I like that idea because then you can add a charm if you wanted to. Or it just looks cool. Ooh, money. Money, money, money. I got a huge dollar bill. Uh, ooh, there's a 20. A 10, a 20, and a 5, and a 1. Isn't that cool? Next paper's got a head on it. <laughs> it. Looks like she made two and then put them back to back on the paper clip. That is so hilarious. And then this paper's that pretty gingham and it's brown on the back side. And these are cool. They're like on a wooden back but it's got corrugated cardboard attached. So they're, they're almost finished. It just needs some decoration on the front. Oh, do y'all remember these? Standardized testing. I used to love maxi dresses when I was five foot seven, but now I'm five, five. I've compressed down to five. I've lost two inches. And um, now that I just look frumpy, you know, <laughs> doesn't mean I don't wear them sometimes. So these look like they were pulled out of one of those old little pocket journals, like farmers would write down what they needed to pick up at the feed and seed. And then they could write how much they were charged for it and stuff. That's what these look like, little farmers journals. It's a jumbo playing card with Mickey Mouse on it. So those are cool. I was bad and I've never taken a really good look through this. So this is fun for me and I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see what somebody else would put in uh, one of these little what we call flow journals. Got another paper clip with some ribbon here. And let's see what's in this pocket. And seashells. 
then my leg's gone to sleep sitting under it. Ooh. Table etiquette, tipping. With these guidelines, gifts, thank you notes, and visiting. Telephone before calling on even your nearest friends or relatives, unless you have a clear understanding to the contrary. Before calling on a patient in a hospital, find out the visiting hours and call a member of the patient's family or the patient to find out when a visit will be convenient. Then check with the hospital to be sure the patient is able to receive you. Traveling, engagement, and weddings and receptions. Oh, wow. This is like rules for life. Engagements. Announcement cards are never sent. Announcement of an engagement is by the bride's parents at a party or through the pages of the local newspaper. Weddings. The bride's parents pay for the cost of printing and sending invitations, flowers for the church, the bridesmaids' flowers, corsages for both mothers, a boutonniere for the father of the bride, church music and the sexton's fees, motor transportation for the bridal party to and from church, the wedding gown and bridal trousseau, the bride's gifts to the, her bridesmaids. And then we missed out on what the groom's page family has to pay for. It's fun. How do you know that a remote belongs to a 40-year-old? MTV isn't programmed in it. The Weather Channel is. What do two 40-year-olds do on a wild night out? Split a dessert. One of those cool old-timey receipt pages. Another one. Oh, these are top value stamps instead of um, s &H green stamps. This is ending 19, and then up there it says 14. 1914. Wow. This is a, like a wage chart. Okay, here's, um, oh, this has recipes. Now they tell us don't use, this is for aluminum wear. Now they say that aluminum is bad for our brains, that we should not use aluminum pans. So let's see what we got recipes for. Strawberry, <coughs> Strawberry shortcake. <coughs> Oh, and this is from the Robin Hood Flower Company. Devil's Food Cake, Angel Food Pastry for an 8-inch pie shell. White bread, baking powder biscuits, crater rolls, oatmeal cookies, two-egg cake, white cake. I'm going to pull this out of here because I have a collection of vintage cookbooks, and I'm going to stick that with them. So I'll, I'll harvest that right now. I hope this isn't boring. Boring. Oh, are we having issues? Rules schmules. Exactly. Do you do you? I know, Jen. I was just thinking how delicious some homemade strawberry shortcake would be. I love this. The shortcake like my grandmother made and that I make, I don't like those things that you buy that are yellow and they have like a dip in the middle. I hate that stuff. I want real shortcake, not that yellow stuff. All right, so another piece of scrapbook paper folded up to make a pocket. And this time she did um, DMC floss tassel on it which is really cool. And this holds the pockets up without damaging the paper so you can still use the paper. Don't just sit there. Come over and party. <laughs> Let's talk about how fabulous you think I am. I know exactly where these came from. These came from Michael's. In those, when we used to, when they used to do the dollar and two dollar bins. The Toledo Terminal Railroad Company. Authority for movement on a double track with the current or traffic only. I guess that's Toledo, Ohio. Okay. Then she's, 
I noticing that she flips the pages so you don't end up with all the pockets on one side. We got two tassels here, one with fabric and another with the DMC floss. And let's see. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell where to grab here. All right. This is some of that canvas paper. It feels just like um, one of the stretched canvases. But this is just some paper. That's a bit of chipboard or watercolor. Might be watercolor paper. This is definitely Bristol or watercolor. Another canvas piece. A postcard, nearly made. Just put a focal image on it. And it could be a postcard that could be mailed. And then there's these cool with stamping on them. That's a good idea. Just take like craft card stock and cut it into like tags and stuff. And use your stamps that none of us are using. They're just sitting there. And make up like journaling cards to send to people. That could be a fun swap. A journaling card swap where you send just cards that somebody could include in the journal. Like maybe we'd have to set up, uh, like tell everybody what theme you have. Like if you signed up for it, just say if you've got a theme and then they'd know what to send you. All right, let's see what we've got going here. Piece of sticker paper. I recognize that. Another piece of canvas paper. It's smooth on the back side, and this is the side you paint on. I actually have some of that. I think this is drawing paper. And that was just setting in there. And then this one was folded in. And she's got, let's take the paper clips off. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got one of those, like, let them eat cake, ladies. And then this one's a flower with a smaller flower on the back to just cover the adhesive a little bit. And then this one was folded in to create a couple pockets. So we've got a stack of note cards, you know, the notepads. And then this is a rustic wooing. This is one of those that you'd put in that viewer. You know, it would slide in and you could look at the images in the viewer it's numbered 146 i just find this so interesting i hope you guys do too let's just put these on here oh and there goes my kettle i'm gonna go pour my water over my tea bags i'll let you look at that real quick I steep my tea for four minutes, so I'll set the timer. Okay, what's in this next pocket here? Circus. So if you were doing a circus themed, these would be cute. Clowns are cute. I'm going to stand up a bit. Here we've got some different fibers. Look, it matches my dress. Okay, that's the paper. So it's got a grill on it. Big clock face, I guess. Oh, or just numbers. So if we were doing prompts and it called for numbers, that would be cool to add. Let's stick that back on. Beautiful nursery. And then we've got some more pretty vintagey fabric on a, on a clip. All right, let's see if I can, I'll take that off. And then these are just postcards. If I did art on that side, then I could just cut it out and I'd have two postcards. Didn't know those were in there. Let's pull those out. All right, and we've got a piece of 
it's got a texture to it. I don't know, maybe drawing paper. Yeah, I'm ready for the rain to stop. This is a cool coloring page. Oh, I like this side better with the bird. So Linda T, if you're watching, thank you. Got some music paper. This looks like either Japanese or Chinese. Some dictionary pages that she's stuck in the middle. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I like to do this where you look at the words and you pick one out and use it as your focal image. Oh, goodness. Here's another one with one of those ladies on it. But I'm going to stick her over on the dictionary paper. And um, this is recipes. Bread stuffing, chestnut rice stuffing, mushroom stuffing, appetizer salads, green salads, hearty salads, dessert salads, Caesar salad, a cream gravy. There's your chicken roasting table. Tips for stuffing. I'm going to put those with my vintage. Sorry, those have to go with my vintage cookbooks. And this is the band that's holding the whole thing together. You can see it's starting to lose its slack. And the rest of the dictionary pages. And then we've got some just tags. Boundless fabrics. This is a, a thing from Wawak, which is a sewing supply company. Yeah, I've got another of his po these postcards because we ordered something from Wawak. All right. And then the other side of those papers we've already looked at. Then this paper's just pinned on here. And this kind of looks like it was stamped, but I don't I think maybe it's printed instead. But you could do this with your word stamps. Just stamp them on and then whoever you sent it to could use them. And then there's some more vintage fabric made into a tassel. Oh, look at this. This paper clip has a ballerina on it. Isn't she pretty? And then in here, oh, there's the four minutes. I've got 50 cents in pennies, $2 in nickels, S&H greenbacks, um, I'm not sure what those are. They're some kind of stamp. I don't recognize them. Anybody recognize those? Oh, look at these cool paint samples, you guys. These are by Bayer. These are old. They don't do this anymore. Isn't that cool? I love these shapes. I'd almost be tempted to take those three and maybe use them as a theme for a page. Look, at they kind of go together. And then they got this green here. Banana leaf. And then she's got a piece of heavy, heavy paper there. So stick those in. Yes, I'm coming. Stick the ballerina back on here. Let me go get my tea. I'll be right back. Gotta take a tea break. Turn the timer off, please. I've made a huge cup of tea. Oh, and my friend that was going to bring her pants to, to get them him. She didn't have enough time. She's got to get back on the road. She's the one that's doing over the road trucking. And she gets home about once a month for just two or three days. So she's got to get back on the road. Um, oh, these are cute. These are a Seven Gypsies calendar tickets. So you could do like um, a monthly journal. And it looks like the, the date, the they're just lined up. They're not, um, you know, you could use them as your, your tab. 
it looks like they actually could fold in half and make like a little pocket. Hmm, those are cool. And then we got a little, oh look, they got my initial on them. Note cards. And we got some, keep this ticket. I actually have a bunch of these tickets. So I could include some of those in a, in a flow. And then this paper has juicy melon, just right, watermelon type and berries. And then look at this tassel. That's using some of that where it's real wide. I think you have to finger, finger do that one. You don't use a hook or anything. And again, she's bent that edge so she could hang something there. And then this is a bag, like a wine bag. It opens up down here. So that's pretty cool. We're almost to the back. And then we've got a number one shaped paper clips too that I'd love to share. Archie and Veronica, or the Archies. There's, um, what's the one that wants hamburgers and hot dogs all the time? Jughead, is that Jughead? All right, here's another recipe. D's Hot Hot Tostitos, Chili Rolano Squares. Oh, this has got to go. I'll skip the liverwurst pops, though. Liverwurst is just gross. Nachos, Chili Con Queso. We'll put that with the recipes. Oh, and I love this. Look what she's done. She's added the charm again. And then she's got another one of those women on it. I love that idea of putting the charm on. Then we've got another tag. This one feels like it's made out of the uh, canvas. See how floppy it is? And then this is your payday, your in and out time card. Brown paper, a heart-shaped um, paper clip. And then we've got a paint sample. Your manuscript alphabets. I might take this journal and turn it into another journal and use it. That's cool. I love the vintage fabrics like that. That she's looks like she just sliced them. You could even use your offcuts if you're a quilter. Evidently, I used everything that was in there or it got shifted. Um, here's a paper clip. Oh, no. I'll have to glue that back on. That goes in the middle of this. It just popped right off. And then she used a little circle dot on the back. So I need to do some paper clips. And then this is just a big copper colored paper clip. Um, in spirables. Four stickers. I bet the stick -o is getting old. I'll have to, um, that's some more of the bingo paper. And I got to repair the flower, so I'll just leave that there. Some more clowns. A little thank you. Now you're seeing the back, other sides of all the papers. All right. What's a sure sign you're 40? You double check that the waitress is really giving you decaf. <laughs> and then there's a birthday cake. And then we all recognize that painting, right? And it's a postcard. Claude Monet. Woman with the parasol. I could probably just use that and send it to somebody. And they could use it in the journal and then we got the back pocket back here and it's just got uh, the value pack mailer we gotta look in there 
And then this cool looking notebook paper. Remember the yellow notebooks? I wish we could still get the yellow paper. I've not seen those. It looks like they got lines. Oh, one side's graph and one side's lined. I love graph paper for journals because I like to doodle quilt designs. What's wrong? Oh no, that's awful. I'm telling you. Bad. Hey folks, there's Peg. Let's see what was on sale in the value mailer. This is funny. Holiday in the Manor House, Metro Parks, Toledo. Free admission. I bet it's not free anymore. Nothing's free. Bassett Nut Company, gourmet popcorn, chocolates, coated pretzels, and more. Ooh, we can get some money off of uh, Wet n' Wild makeups. Expired February 28, 2019. Your home security for $27.99 per month. That probably ain't happening no more. Get six washes for four. Marco's pizza. A free $20 Sam's Club gift card. Do you need your appliances serviced? I wonder if that business is even still open. Now everybody just replaces everything. Summit Auto Repair. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> River Diner. It'd be interesting. This is at 2040 Ottawa River Road. I guess in Toledo. American and Mediterranean Cuisine. Glass City. Furnace Clean and Check. Your major appliance service and repair. You don't see a lot of appliance service companies anymore. Libby gets you some candles. That's one of those walk-in bathtubs. 101.5, the river, Toledo's official radio home for the holidays. There you go. You get free tire repairs if you buy some tires from them. Oh, Harbor Freight coupons. wonder if they got the scissors on here that everybody used to get. Nope. You can get your collapsible crane. We actually have one of those to lift an engine out because Greg had big plans at going nowhere. Um, Omaha Steaks. Winterize with Valvoline. Valpac. Let's see. Three-day blinds. The Quick Lane. And $500 from First Third Bank. That was interesting to look through. I wonder how many of those companies are even still in business. All right. Okay, that was Linda T's Flow Journal. Now, I think I ended up getting two of these, but I'm not sure where the other one is. But I thought that would be fun to flip through this morning and... Uh, Yep, pretty old. Uh, 2019, I think, is when that came to me. I sounded like a radio announcer. So the, it's been raining for days, and it's so dreary and depressing. I'm trying to... I came on because I saw Mary wasn't going to be on, and I thought I could chit-chat with y'all, and it might make me feel better. <laughs> Yesterday was awful. Today will be better. Well, thank you for coming and watching. And um, I was kind of just had this idea of I might get the ingredients for a couple of the uh, these recipes. And I might do just a standalone video and share the recipe. Like I definitely would like to do the um, strawberry shortcake. I could do that like over the over the uh, weekends.
I bet this only makes a single crust. I use my grandmother's pie crust recipe. Baking powder biscuits. How many loaves? Oh my goodness, this recipe for white bread makes four loaves of bread. We would never be able to eat that before mold moved in. White bread's not good for you anyway. There's the strawberry shortcake. I think it's funny that they're selling aluminum pans when right now they're telling us to stay away from aluminum because they think it causes Alzheimer's. I don't know. Every, every uh, age group has something that they find out it's going to kill us later. So whatever. My grandmother would make um, two loaves a week. You threw all your aluminum pans out years ago. I don't blame you. Oh, there's Kim. She says she's cleaning out her craft closet. Woo! Just moving into the den from the front room. I, I've got everything nice and organized and trying to keep it that way. My carts, my red uh, carts that I use for my art supplies, they are a little out of hand, to say the least. Um, I need to, I've been stacking things on top of them. I need to go through all that stuff. Oh, bless you, Peg. You're working on, I don't touch the garage. The garage is mail zone. I just. That's his, that's his stuff. If anything ever happened to him, I would have to deal with it. But right now, I just don't even want to think about it. Oh, I know. All those bright colored aluminum tumblers we drank. Oh, I'm telling you, it's crazy. I still haven't embroidered on the rabbit. So he still doesn't have a nose and mouth. And I need to make his overalls. So that might be my project. For today is to make overalls. We went through Scott's jeans and got the holiest ones. So I have some denim now that I can use. You know, the rabbit was made out of that suit jacket that I got at a yard sale for five dollars. And I used every bit of that fabric to get those pattern pieces. So that is no longer in the house except in the form of a rabbit. Yeah, I'm the way Scott, he's 65. Well, he'll be 65 in June. And he just hobbles around here. He can barely move some days. And I just worry. He worries too. He worries he's going to be a burden on me. And I was like, look, I'm in it till the end. Isn't that the rabbit turned out so cute? Oh, and I finished clear coating the what the... The card that um, I did with Janet Nash, this one here, the canvas. And um, I'm going to it'll get to Janet. So this one's going to Peg, and that one's going to Janet. And then I've got my list, and I need to clear coat this one. This one's ready. It just needs to be clear coated. So this is the dragonfly. So... I'm going to clear coat that so it can be drying. My plan is to go to the post office tomorrow. So these will be mailed tomorrow. I just, I don't want to get out in the wet weather. <laughs> I'm being a wuss. So I think that's all I have to share. I hope you enjoyed seeing through Linda T's um, flow journal that she sent me. And Linda, if you're out there, we'd love to hear from you. Um, I haven't heard of her passing or anything, so I'm hoping she's still out there watching videos and stuff. I hadn't heard otherwise. I will let you guys get your day going, and I can hear the young couples leaving out next door. 
and I will talk to you in the next video. Oh, Kim says don't leave. <laughs> well, I've got to get some things done before Craft and Chat starts at 10 o'clock. And that's in Ann Lars group on Facebook. Um, we get together on Thursdays. Um, we might need to start breaking off into a couple groups if we get more than 10 people in the room. Um, and we can do that. That's no biggie. And I am going to do a two-hour craft and chat tomorrow um, just from 10 to noon. And it's just with the people that have signed up for it. And uh, I'll see some of you there. Bye, guys.